Welcome back, guys, to the U-Haul shop. We've got a lot to plan for today. Let's get the Mustang in the garage, and I'll explain all about it. So, as we got out of our car, you can see there is six supercars in front of us, and these are all our cars. We just purchased them all from the equipment dealer, and the reason is, is because we're going to be fulfilling our second vending machine that is built for trucks, cars, and other vehicles. This is our truck vending machine that has generated us a million dollars because it's all self-automated. So if someone can come rent a truck at 3 a.m. if they want, trust me, we've had it happen and they've uh, made us a lot of money. So these trucks are all filled up and we were going to buy nine more trucks, but I decided supercars, we can rent those out for a lot of money. People rent supercars like crazy, you know, to flex on Instagram and all the other apps. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and move forward with a supercar rental shop, but it's kind of intertwined with our U-Haul store because that's going to bring us more money and also expand the business. So let me show you guys how this works. So what we could do is we can raise up three levels times three. So we got nine car slots and they're all self-automated. You just swipe your credit card here and boom, you got a Ferrari. So pretty sweet. We're going to get actually all the elevators out of the ground or what we like to call it the car vending machine. Look at that. So actually we got to go up another level. This is pretty cool. Watch this. The other outside levels can go up. So there we go. Now everything is opened up and we can put the first layer of vehicles in. We've got six here, and we've also got a surprise. We're going to go pick up the last vehicle as soon as we get these ones parked up. We're going to drive every car, see what the difference is, so we can kind of guess what we want to rent them for. But we've got a lot of the top-of-line vehicles here, starting with the Dodge SRT Hellcat. This is pushing about 1,000 horsepower. It's got a supercharger on it, aftermarket, obviously. Go ahead and fire it up. Oh, my gosh, this thing sounds so good. We got a V8 engine, very high horsepower. We got the SRT graphic on the back. Here we go. Let's hit it. Oh my God. This thing is flying right now. Definitely one of the top line muscle vehicles. People love these Hellcats because they're fast and they sound good. So that's a win-win for someone looking to rent a car. But all right, let's spin this thing around. It is fast. It's approved by us. Let's go ahead and put it in the car vending machine. This thing is ready for rent. One hint on the last vehicle that we're going to be renting out or picking up today, it is worth $5 million. So it's worth more than all these vehicles we're looking at, including the Lance. So one car is going to cost more than everything. And we're going to pick it up. It'll be the last vehicle for the car vending machine. But let's back this thing in. Look at that. Looks good. I love the red lights on the front. Those are not stock. We put those on after market. But we've got this level. We're going to start with this letter A. So that's what it's labeled as. You've got A, B, and C lifts. So we're going to go ahead and drop down A to the second level. There we go. See you later, Hellcat. And now we can put another vehicle in and we'll be good. And also, yes, my philosophy was is to put the Hellcat in the ground so no one can steal it. Because that is a highly stolen vehicle. But next up, we got a Ferrari with a unique looking wrap on it. This is a carbon fiber wrap. I think the car itself, the body frame is not carbon fiber. But this uh, wrap on it, they put a fake carbon fiber red on it. It looks pretty sweet though. Definitely different. That's what we need for people to be renting these vehicles is different. But all right, let's fire this thing up and head out here. Well, it's got a nice interior. I do like it. Very simple. And it's quick too. We're doing 130 miles an hour. Oh my gosh. If you guys like these type of videos with supercars and vending machines, hit the like button down below. I appreciate it so much. But let's get this Ferrari on back. This thing obviously was approved before we got in it. It rides good. It looks good. So it's approved for rent. And I think we're going to rent it at about thousand dollars an hour which is really steep but this car is close to a million dollars so we're going to rent at a percent an hour a percent value of the car which is like the number one rule i guess when it comes to renting cars out but this is uh this is a nice one obviously we're going to require like a, a deposit i think the first hour has to be put down deposit before they pay in full because if they end up damaging the vehicle then we'll just take it out of the deposit so all right that looks good let's go ahead drop it down where are we at over here oh nope that's up all right, looks good. Next vehicle, B and C. We're going to start loading them up because we're going to try and get quicker here because we got to get to that $5 million car. Let's see. Let's grab the GT3. This thing looks sweet. Porsche GT3, 992 edition. It's not an RS, but the RS is kind of like a track car. This is a little bit better for rental and street vehicle. It's got the racing seats. As you can see, it's got the nice suede Alcantara. Very, very cool. And this one is not a manual, which I do not want because most people don't know how to drive a manual. But all right, we'll fire this thing up. Sounds good. You got the display there. Odometer. You got the little GT3 display. What else we got here? Temperature. Very cool. And then there's our shifter. So we got heated, ventilated seats. We got parking brake. These are the little temperature controls, but you know, you got park, reverse, neutral, drive, and we are good to roll. This thing looks like a stormtrooper from Star Wars. If you guys know what that is, it just has that look to it. Very cool looking vehicle. Let's go ahead, stop on the pedal, and get this thing moving. Let's see if we get to 100. 
We're already doing 70. 100. Okay, that was fast. Wow, we are flying in this thing. It sounds good. It's got a little bit of a quieter exhaust, but we're going to try and see if Novatech, they've got like a custom exhaust, can maybe throw something on, straight pipe this thing. Make it louder, because like I said, rentals, people want loud exhausts, and they want a good-looking car. They don't care how much it costs. They just want a flashy, loud car. So, yeah, we're going to give it to them. But we got to get a new exhaust on this thing, and this one's probably going to rent for 450 per hour. So, you know, there's going to be like five, six-hour rentals. That's like two grand for the day. Easy money for us, and it'll help us expand the business, like I've already said. But let's back this thing in to Lift B. I think that's probably a good spot for it. We're going to try and keep the vehicles... Kind of scattered all over the place. They don't have to be perfect, like categorized like Ferraris there, because we don't have that many Ferraris. We have one. But it would be cool if we had like a Lambo, Ferrari, Porsche lineup, which we might be able to do if this business does well. Let's see. We got a new vehicle here. I actually, I don't think you guys have seen this in game yet. It's the McLaren 720S. This is a, a very cool vehicle. My honestly favorite hypercar is the McLaren Senna. So that's like the next step up from this thing. And uh, this one, this one's like a rental for sure. This is like three, four hundred thousand. Which is pretty good. It's got the four exhaust pipes on the back, the big engine, and it looks sweet. But I know this car's got a lot of issues with it all the time, but hey, it's whatever. Got the display down there, paddle shifters. It's a pretty good looking car. And then we also got the camera that tilts. Look at that. It looks sweet. If we ever get in a police chase with this thing, which I'm sure we will. All right, we're going to take this thing on back. We're getting pretty close, guys. The $5 million car gotta pull back into the shop i'm getting excited well let's back this one in just lift c it doesn't really matter like i said where we put them but this thing looks sweet uh they're gonna be able to pick on the touch screen which vehicle they want and then it'll kind of like adjust the lift you know say if the porsche is all the way at the bottom it'll bring it all the way back up for it so it's pretty easy uh let's go ahead put the porsche in the ground we need room for more vehicles to load up and then also the mclaren so there we go looks good all right we got a couple more spots left here so we're loading up quick but we got only three more vehicles to test out two right here and then one is over at the dealer so all right what do we got an sto this is a pretty cool color package though i've not seen a white on black it looks good got the black rims orange brake caliber so i'd make those probably like a red that would look sweet but sto package you got like the blue and orange interior nice wood Step up from the Evo, a little bit nicer uh, comfort built in, but uh, this thing rips. Obviously, Lambos are sweet, and I love how this thing looks, but very cool. You got the headlights on the front. It is it is a cool car, but it does look like a box, so I don't know. I'd rather be better off that Mercedes. We better go test drive that thing. It just looks so cool, but people love these Lamborghinis for renting. You know, Lamborghinis got a great name on it, so... All right, let's, uh, let's pull back in. Oh, no, that was close. Also, the dogs in the street, the no-name dog. We still need a name for the dogs. If you guys got one, comment it down below. Here we go. Watch this. The dogs, yep, it's already running back over. It's got a good, uh, good nose. It's smelling all the food over here. Watch how much money you want to bet it'll run through the wall. I bet a million dollars. Oh, hey, look at that. A million dollars, yeah. Okay. Hey, buddy. All right, let's pet the dog here. There we go. We still need a name for you, though, buddy. All right, buddy, you ready? Three... Hey, maybe Buddy could be the name. I don't know if you guys want a Buddy dog, but I don't know. That's not really a good name. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Fetch. There we go. Let's get this Lamborghini on the lift. Oh, this thing flies. We better tell people to be a little bit more careful. We might actually have to put a higher deposit on this thing before people start renting it out. But all right, looks good right there. Mercedes AMG GT. This is, uh, I think, the Blackwing Edition. Uh, they went the chrome rims, though. So that's like the only thing that's not on it. But it's got the V8 by Turbo, twin turbo, that means. Uh, yep, I didn't I didn't crash into the wall, I promise. Other than that, thing uh, drives. Um, yeah, drives good. Oh my gosh, I can't steer. All right, uh, enough driving this thing. Look at it, it just spins out. Oh my gosh. We need uh, maybe four wheel drive on this thing. All right, we're just going to put on the lift. If someone wants to rent this, which they probably won't. Be my guess. They're, they're just getting to pay for the damages. I do not know how to drive. Oh my gosh. I just hit the thing for the third time. All right. Back it in straight. Come on. You got this. Three, two, one. Turn it off. All right. It's on the lift. Let's go ahead. B and C. Oh, that's up. We're going to put the levels all the way down because we actually have that final vehicle. But these ones can stay above ground. Just B is going to be for our $5 million car. So, all right. I'm going to head over to the dealer. I'm going to pick up the car. I'll meet you guys there. Welcome, welcome to the dealer. Here we go. We're walking in the garage. Let's see. Three, two, one. Check it out. We've got a lemon, boys. Bright yellow. La Ferrari. Ferrari. Wow. Look at this thing. This is sweet. Five million bucks. This is what you get. This thing's going to rent for about $10,000 an hour. Open the door. Why isn't it opening? I have an idea. Watch. Ferrari's got magic power. Oh, look at that. It opened. Oh, my gosh. Look at it in the daylight. Looks like five times better. Wow. 
that is a nice looking hypercar. So $10,000 an hour, five hour minimum. So every time we rent this thing, we're going to make a minimum of $50,000, which is crazy on this vehicle, but it is nice. I don't know what we're doing pulling back in. We got to go take this thing for a test drive, baby. The back has got four exhaust pipes. You got the brake lights, the LaFerrari license plate, the mid engine. This has got all the cool bells and whistles on it, but uh, yeah. All right. Let's see what we can get going on this thing. We're doing 200 miles an hour. And when you see the steering wheel go red, it'll shift. Look at that. This vehicle can really be used for whatever you want. A track vehicle, a road vehicle, whatever you kind of want. But it is fast. That's one thing. The handling's good. We've got the road tires on it right now. We don't have the race tires on it. But like I said, you can swap that out and be on the racetrack tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Up to your pleasing. But let's pull this thing back in. We're going to get it on the lift. And that concludes our day with our new supercar vending machine, which is kind of a unique thing. You'd never thought. There'd be a supercar vending machine. Obviously, there's companies out there that do like the vending machine where you can buy a car and then it drops it down with the token. But ours is a rental company. So we get to keep the cars, rent them out, make some money, passive income, baby. Hashtag passive income. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. If you're still watching, you're the best. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.